Hello everybody, this is Jay, and these are reviews from Mob.org. Let's go! The Arrow of Knights is over, but the extremely heavy armor they used is still a good form of protection. This time, not people, but machines are protected with plates of formed steel. Today we have tanks in our review. Welcome, World of Tank War! We can clearly understand from its name just what type of game we have before us. And yes, it's a shamelessly copied clone of a famous game called World of Tanks. The game was developed by the guys from Come To You, who cut their teeth on copying other famous franchises. But let's not be so narrow-minded, as even a clone can make for a quality product. Let's begin with the visual components. The graphics here are, in principle, rather good, but you might not ever get to play it because downloading it takes about a billion years. Moreover, it lags on even new devices. And for some reason, the camera loves to go crazy all of a sudden, begin twitching like it's having seizures. The tank itself does not evoke the sensation of a massive war machine. That may be because the textures of high grass are constantly sticking out through its body, and even the trees pass through it. I must confess that I have not played the original world of tanks, but I have a strong feeling that the original is not like that. A tree is a tree, and a tank is a tank. Get your stuff together, guys! By the way, the tanks here not only exist on a different plane of existence, what truly prevents them from being believable objects is that they can also fly, in that they fly in the style of a lazy chicken which flies only after it's been kicked. In other words, when a shell hits the tank, the tank is tossed up into the air like it's as light as a cardboard box. Well, and now about the music. Usually I avoid talking about music as I cannot carry a tune to save my life and I don't consider myself to be much of an expert in the field. But I cannot help touching upon that topic this time around. When you listen to the music, you get the impression that you're not playing a game involving tanks, but instead you're watching National Geographic, and right now somewhere in the wilds of Africa, wild aborigines get high in dangerous wild substances as they bang drums and dance around a fire. I am serious, this is not music. It's just a random drum beat without any rhythm, which starts to enrage you after about 10 seconds of listening to it. The game has two game modes. There's a team battle and deathmatch mode. In the battles, you get in-game money, which you can spend to unlock new tanks in your garage and upgrade your old ones. That part's pretty self-explanatory. Let's proceed to the summary. Well, what can I say? I'm sure someone somewhere will like this game. One man's trash is another's treasure. Try and play it if you want, for I've certainly had enough of the game. If you're going to take up copying another game, at least make it with high quality. Could have attracted fans of the original version. That's all for today. Check it out, comment, and subscribe to the channel if you liked the video. This was Jay with a review from Mob.org. See you soon!